This is your Marks Max Muscles Amateur Grand Prix. This, of course, contains only bodybuilders that never once competed for the Mr. Olympia event, but let's not waste any more time. We'll look at the brackets when this matchup's all through. Marco Savoljanin takes on Roland Kickagirl, or Kickinger. Anyway, this one is impossible to judge. This is a man's physique competitor versus an open class competitor. I mean, my soul. The conditioning, of course, one of the first things I notice. But then when I look at the difference of the limbs, the mass of Marco, he is much better, much better. Wow, what a tough decision to make. He is that much skinnier, I think. The Roland Kicker wall. I believe he is that much thinner that I'm going to almost lean toward the big Marco. But I don't know. My soul, that conditioning is condition plus for Roland. This is, I must say, I get criticized for using this front relaxed position of Marco Savalyanin. It's the only one that I can find for bloody well sakes. He does have a superior condition version and boom, here it is. This front double bicep. Look at Marco. It looks photoshopped, but trust me, it's not. He had these freaky peaky biceps and I'm sure I'll get a couple of comments saying that they are in fact synthal. I don't know. It looks like muscle fiber to me. But either way, I am counting it as muscle, and he is blowing Roland out of the whatever in this front double bicep pose. By the way, I, I'm going to go with Marco for the front relaxed, considering that he was in much better condition at one time. This is pro That was probably the best of Roland. So, two to nothing for Marco. It was a little bit difficult to get a good... Good comparison on the front lat spread. These are both photo shoots, and this is very early on in Marco's career, so it's not really fair for him that conditioning got a whole lot better. There is this comparison, and it is on stage, but Marco, the camera is so far down at his feet that it makes him just appear like his lats are much more filled out than they are. Not that he didn't have. I mean, as you can see in this comparison, we'll go back to this one. You can really see he does have superior lats. But in kick a dog's favor there, he does have a very nice lat spread for sure. This is one of his best poses, bar none. But is it enough to topple Marco? I don't think so. Slightly inconclusive, but yet again, I lean back to Marco for sure. Just his structure is just too much. I apologize for this less than dandy of a comparison. Not very good at all. I shouldn't even have used it. You can only see the the chest and a little bit of his arm on Roland's part. And Marco looks fantastic. It is safe to say that he would be winning this shot. Look, I see some striated glutes in Marco. Wow, is he good. He could have won the frigging Olympia title. And he was never even in contention. He never even went for that title. Marco Savoljanin, one of the best of all time. Let's have a look at the backs. And I do believe this is even more domination for Marco. Wow. At least in Roland Kicka Window's view, he could have got some points in the front poses. I mean, that front lat spread could have easily went to him. But here in the back, no intelligent person on earth would give Kicka TV set. A point here in the rear double by. He has a very shallow back, does kick a wall. But anyway, let's my we're here. Let's have a look at the rest of the poses. And if the rear double bicep was a single domination, this is double domination for Marco Savolinin. Wow, man, is he good. I do believe that this is one of the most dominant matchups, and Roland kick of kick the air is not bad, not bad at all. But, I mean, dominance is due. Now, here is a good little comparison. If the front lat spread was one of Kick the Air's best poses, this most muscular is probably his best. Now, I remember, this, this reminds me, of when Andreas Munzer, he actually defeated, in my view, 
uh, Marco Savoyanin in this pose. He was just so striated, as, as much as striated as Roland there. Look at his chest. Looks very good. I mean, yes, Andreas was a little drier, perhaps. But the reason why I'm going to go with Marco in this comparison was if you actually look at Andreas Munzer's most muscular. Here, I'll bring it up. There. Look at the legs. The legs was the clincher for me. So, Marco Savolianen gets the win in this one. There was no Abenthai for kick a screen window. So, Marco Savolianen pretty much gets a clean sweep in this one and does advance on to the semifinals in this tournament. One more match to go. Before both semifinal matches are all set, Paul Grant, poor, poor Paul, he will be compared up against Victor Richards. What a powerhouse Victor Richards is. That will be a dominant victory, I am sure. So why am I going to do the match? For education, that's why. We are going to see a 70s bodybuilder be compared to uh, late 80s, early 90s. But I mean Victor Richards, so far ahead of his time. It will be an interesting comparison nonetheless. Paul Grant did make it this far in the tournament. So, one to look forward to for sure. Hope you enjoyed this video today. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for hitting that subscribe button. Everyone helps. And everyone counts. And if you haven't already, please, please go ahead and give that subscribe button a tap. Doesn't take but just a little wife of the finger. Have a great day.